What's up guys, hope you're doing good. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over the ultimate guide to setting appointments that convert. This is a strategy that one, I don't think many people out there are using. Yes, I don't think many people people out there are using. If you are a business owner watching this video, if you are someone who is an appointment setter or someone who's looking to become an appointment setter, obviously use this strategy. If you're someone who's setting for another company, get them to start using this strategy. Um, and this is more effective on social media platforms. That's not to say that you can't do it on email and you you might find a way to do it via cold calling. I might find a way to do it via cold calling by the end of this video. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. And of course, if you wanna work with us, if you are someone who is an appointment setter who wants to become an appointment setter, or if you are a company who wants us to train your appointment setters to do a better job, of course, feel free to book a call. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So number one, I believe, you know what, let's go over quickly what is a leveraged appointment setter, right? So I believe appointment setting is the foundational skill set that makes it unreasonable for anyone not to be successful and become a multiple five to six figure earner, right? Lead generation is a skill for life, right? Every business needs consistent leads, no matter what. They just can't run without having consistent leads, right? Mastering multiple forms of not only lead generation, but also being able to close leads for appointments and sales will always put food on your table, whether you're doing it for yourself or others. You can also charge whatever you want, especially, right, if you can guarantee results. So if you really want to change your life and become a valuable asset for any business out there that needs clients or needs meetings, then please pay attention, right? So Understanding lead generation. Lead generation is the process of generating leads for yourself or your clients, right? For those of you that don't know, every business needs leads. Leads are the people who are interested in a business's products or services, but have not yet heard of the particular business or, or purchased one of its products or services. It's basically anyone who hasn't paid to become a client or customer. If you don't know what appointment setting is, appointment setting is the process of setting in-person appointments, phone call appointments, and or Zoom video call appointments for yourself or clients through various methods, including outbound prospecting through social media, direct messaging, DMs, cold email, cold calling, and other marketing methods, right? This strategy today is mainly going to be focused on outbound. That is not to say that you won't be able to use it inbound, but with outbound, it is very effective. And with inbound, it's even better because those people are already... Uh, warmed up to you they already understand you a little bit and this will work right so if you don't know what outbound prospecting and messaging is outbound prospecting and messaging is the process of reaching out to prospects on social media platforms like instagram facebook twitter linkedin etc prospects are people who can be potential clients in other words leads right so let's get right into it so let me shrink this all right sweet so a leveraged appointment setter right they can do not just one or the other, right? Most appointment setters today are being trained on warm inbound or cold calling, right? A leveraged appointment setter is really good at cold outreach, warm inbound, obviously, because you can also do cold outreach, cold calling and cold email, right? You understand how to have conversations with prospects. You understand how to get their attention, have a conversation and turn that conversation into a booked appointment that is warm and willing to hop on a call with a company to then purchase their product or their program or their service, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's basically what an, a, a leveraged appointment setter is, and that's basically what they do. So let's get right into the how, which is what all of you guys are here for, right? So there's not much here, right? The how, the process. Number one, you want to have a no-brainer outreach offer. You want to keep it simple. You can do this in two-step post so that um, someone, let's say they raise their hand and say, Hey, I'm interested in blah, 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 blah. Then you follow this via DMS, right? But let's get right back into this, uh, this part of the process, right? So no brainer outreach offer, for example, Hey name came across your profile and you look similar to some of our past clients. Mind if I share a quick two to three minute video on how we help X do X, right? You want to, even this message, in my opinion, could be a little bit shorter. You keep it super, super, super short. Now, obviously, some of you are probably like, oh, is that it? Obviously, I'm gonna continue, right? But this is how you get someone's attention, right? You wanna get their attention with your first message. And this is why I said this is the cold, right? The the warm inbound side of things, right? It'll start once I start going over the process, but this is the beginning. 
most of you are barely doing DMs, right? Make sure if you are doing cold DMs, you're doing a minimum of 250 a day. Whether that means you're using multiple Instagram accounts, let's say you're doing Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you're hitting 50 a day on each platform, that's great. Find a way to get to at least 250 a day. If you can do 250 a day on per platform, even better because you want to pump volumes, you want to do numbers. The more numbers you do, the better off your chances are because let's say you do let's say let's do some quick math right let's say you're doing a thousand a day right you get to a thousand a day right let's say 250 on four different platforms twitter instagram facebook and linkedin right you're doing 250 a day you figure out a way to do 250 a day right so now you're doing a thousand a day basically right a thousand a day and now let's say 10 percent a thousand a day right okay <laughs> this is just my knees right now okay 1000 dms a day right or email or blah 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 right you're doing a thousand outreach a day right let's just say 10 percent of that respond right you should aim for at least a minimum of 10 percent response rate right 10 percent of people respond that's a pretty good response rate that right that's 100 people that's 100 people 100 people a day right that are interested somewhat in what you have to offer right and let's say only 10 percent turn into calls right that's being a little bit pessimistic but let's say only 10 percent of those people turn into calls right a day right 10 percent calls booked a day and then let's say from that 10 percent right a thousand a day 10% responses, so that's 100 responses. And that would be 10 calls, right? A day, a day, 100 responses a day, 10 calls a day, right? Imagine, you. this is just me being generous. Uh, I don't wanna say generous. I'm being a little bit pessimistic because of that call booking rate, right? You should have a pretty good call booking rate if you know what you're doing right but again most appointment setters nowadays are terrible right so i'm being pessimistic right so 10 percent response rate uh a day 10 percent responses a day 10 percent of those responses turn into calls right 10 calls a day that's a pretty good number if you're doing a thousand outreach a day right now i'm drawing a blank okay you when you're following this process right out of those 10 people that respond you're saying, mind if I share a quick two to three minute video on how we help X do X, right? If you are speaking to your ideal clients, right? So now we're going to get into the process, right? 10% calls a day. Let's say only 10% of those people turn into leads, uh, into close calls, right? 10 calls a day, you're closing a deal a day. Right? 10% deals closed, that's one deal one deal a day, right? Those are some pretty good numbers, right? Let's say you're charging $5,000 for your offer, right? $5,000 offer, that's $5,000 a day, right? If you're an appointment setter working for someone who's charging $5,000 for their products and they're getting these types of numbers that's basically let's say you're getting five or ten percent commission right let's just be generous and say you're getting ten percent commission that's five hundred dollars a day as a setter right now let's say they're also giving you a commission uh, a base pay so that's five hundred dollars plus let's say five hundred dollars a month right if that's what you're asking for, 
right? So imagine one deal a day, 5,000, and you're actually doing these kind of numbers for them. Now they're closing 5,000 a day. You're making $500 a day plus whatever you negotiated for the month, right? So uh, could you imagine the level of volumes? And I haven't even gotten into the process yet. You can see how this could get you a pretty decent response rate depending on the offer, depending on who you are speaking with. So I, I spent a lot of time just going over this, but let's get right into the process and get it over with, right? So one is how you're having the conversation, right? Let's say you start like this. What line of business are you know, are you in, right? You don't wanna just, sometimes you can just send them the video, right? The video can do everything. In that video, um, I should have gone over this, but let's say you're going in that video, you want to have, let's say your process. Well, who you are, what you do, your process and one to two case studies, if possible, right? Who you are, what you do, your process and one to two case studies. And you want to explain that in one to three minutes, right? You don't need to be extravagant. Just keep it short. Keep it simple. You want to see if they're interested or not, right? So now let's get back into this, right? They say, yes, sure, why not, blah, blah, blah. You send them the video. Cool. Now, after they've watched the video, you confirm that they've watched the video. Now you can start asking them questions, right? You can probably turn this into a call right away. Some people will say, yeah, let's let's hop on a fall. Let's hop on a call. Of course, have a call to action in the video, right? Like, hey. If this is something that you're interested in, let us know. If this is something that you're interested in, book a call. If you would like our free blah, blah, blah. Now you give them another thing that they can say, yes, dude, send me the guide. Yes, send me this, please. Cool. Now you get to have more conversations, but you can hold the giveaway over their head. I hope this is making sense because right now it feels like it's not making sense. But in that video, let's say you have a call to action that's giving something away for free. At the end of it, they're like, yes, please send me this free guide of blah, blah, blah. Cool. Now you get to hold that guide over their head to get information out of them, right? What line of business are you in? Basically, it goes back to, you know, qualifying the prospect, right? It feels obvious, but most setters don't really qualify prospect. Hey, what line of business are you in? Oh, I'm an agency owner. Oh, I do this and this and this and this. Oh, cool. How's that been, right? You want to know their current situation, how it's going, right? And it gives you more ways to add leverage when it comes to booking a call. How long have you been in business, right? This one, you know, let's say this one kind of feels like a freebie, right? If you want to keep things casual, it's a great way to keep the flow, right? Also, it's another opportunity for leverage, right? Maybe the coach or agency owner that you work for has been in their industry for longer, and that could work in some leverage, right? And this is just a couple of other questions that you can ask to get more information out of them, right? It's like, hey, before I grab the free guide for you, right? How's this going? What are you doing here? Blah, 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 right? You're just asking them questions to bring out pain, to get to know them and their business more. Or let's say it's the you're working for a fitness coach or a health coach or whatever type of coach, you're figuring out their pain points and how your business that you have or that you are working for can actually help them, right? So let me just make this super, super simple on here. Um, because I just thought about how I could have made it much, much more simpler for you guys, right? So, no, no brainer message, right? Following this guideline, no brainer message. Share quick loom vid with a call to action, right? From there, pull out pain points slash hold the freebie over their head. Hopefully you guys are still watching. <laughs> and then either send them to your free community if you have one 
or book call. Right? That's literally it. It seems I made it a lot. It sounded a little a little bit complicated as I was explaining it, but I hope it's simplified to you guys and it actually makes sense. Right? Um, there's a few different things that you can do. And of course, you guys can definitely ask questions in the comments or send me your questions over on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Right? No brainer message. Something like this. Hey, name came across your profile and looked and you look similar to some of our past clients mind if i share a quick two to three minute video on how we help x do x mind if i send over or a quick video explaining how we help appointment setters or how we help uh people that are stuck in a nine to five become leveraged appointment setters so that they can make an extra three to eight k a month right something like that now they're like huh i want to do that i want to see right then you're not just there to talk with them you actually showed them something that they could Say, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, sure, send it over. Now you send that quick two to three minute video. They watch it. They either respond or they don't. You, now it's your job as the appointment setter, as the business owner trying to book the appointment to guess what? DM them a follow-up. Hey, did you get a chance to check it out? Hey, blah, 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 blah. How's the video? Blah, blah, blah. Right, you ask questions to see that they watch the video. They say, yes, I watched it. No, I haven't. Or they leave you on red, right? Obviously, you want to engage with the prospects that are actually giving you attention right then from there you pull out pain points right qualify them right so qualify and pull out pain points slash hold the freebie over their head holding the freebie over their head means let's say you're offering a free guide on this and this and this right and you said that inside of that loom video now they're gonna be like yeah dude please send me over this free blah 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 cool now you're like, yeah, sure, let me grab that. In the meantime, blah, 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 blah. What do you do for a living, right? How long have you been doing that? Oh, you're still in school? Oh, this and this and this, right? Now you're having a conversation. They want the free guide. You're, you haven't given it to them yet. You're asking them questions to ensure that they actually are qualified for your program, your product, your service, and so on, right? Or the person that you're working for is product, program, service, right? Now... From there, they might be like, yeah, dude, can you just send me the free guide? Cool. You send them over the free guide. You follow up tomorrow. You follow up next week, blah, 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 right? Or you're like, dude, we actually help people. Like, dude, you sound like one of our perfect clients. Like, would you be open to hopping on a call and blah, 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 blah? Cool. Yeah, dude, I'd love to hop on a call to see if this is something that I can do or blah, 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 blah right? You're having that conversation back and forth. You're like, yeah, let's hop on a call. Awesome. Sweet. You book the call in and that's it. Job done. Of course send them more content send them more stuff to consume so that they trust you and your business more and the business owner more right and then guess what now they actually show up to the call now they actually want to potentially work with you and then now you're just doing the last bit which is closing the deal if you're the business owner or making helping the closer on your team as an appointment setter do a much better job at closing because you booked an awesome call right that's it for this one guys it, it's a little bit longer than i thought it was gonna be but literally that's the ultimate guide to setting appointments that convert and you know if you're tired of your current situation yes i'm reading a script maybe you're tired of starting business after business and seeing no clear success or maybe you just want to be able to support the ones you love right make sure to subscribe and click the link below to book a free strategy call with me and my team to see if we're the right fit to work with you to help you finally start making money online and living life on your terms as a leveraged appointment setter, right? What we do is train and place appointment setters, right? Leveraged appointment setters that earn three to eight K a month or more in 45 days or less, right? We don't offer the program to everyone who books a call. We only offer it if we think we can actually help you. That's the purpose of the free call, right? So that's it for this one, guys. Talk to you guys soon.